The Russian president has spent eight years, John, trying to build this fortress balance sheet, this fortress economy, while he can go off on his Ukraine invasion and be safe at home. In a weekend, the West has cut that off and paralyzed that fortress economy. Global markets, you can see uh, Europe has opened sharply lower here. This is really following from a rally rebound on Friday. So, so I wouldn't pay too much attention there to Asia. But look at U.S. futures. You're going to see a tough day. It is the ramifications of isolating this huge energy producer, right? And what could happen with the banking system around the world as you're trying to isolate Russian banks out of the system. Oil, incredibly important market here as well. We've seen big jumps in oil prices. That's going to feed into the global inf inflation story. Here's your Russian stock exchange. It's closed right now. It's closed for a reason. The central bank in Russia closed it because it would open down big. It and, would be here, yeah. or here, or here. And look, and the central bank has been sanctioned by the EU and by the U.S. I mean, this basically cripples the country's ability to finance this war, which is exactly what the Europeans and the Americans want to do. This is not just an energy in a, you know, your 401k story as well. This is uh, about the supplies of energy to the EU. It's a huge entwined geopolitical story there. And all these commodities from Russia and from the Ukraine, by the way, all of this could feed into that global inflation story we've talked about. We have supply chains that are going to be more snarled. And we have questions about how European and Western uh, purchasers of these goods are going to be able to pay for them if indeed the world is going to isolate Vladimir Putin and if the, if the Russian economy has a panic. It is on the edge of financial, uh, of financial ruin in the near term here.